Hey, this is Brian Wild at DorksandForks.com, and next to me is Chef Dan Sheridan, uh, also from La Fia uh, Bistro, right here off of uh, Market Street in Wilmington, and also the Wilmington Pickling Company. Dan, Dan, what's going on, man? Not much, man. We're just here to kind of spread the word about Wilmington trying to get a little more uh, food forward, um, you know, companies in here to help small food businesses really take off. Now, you've been doing your thing since 2012. I've yeah. been pickling everything. If you, if you can see here, we've got pickled carrots. Uh, you also pickle peppers, pickled peaches. Uh, there's carrots, red onions. Uh, just beautiful. Now, fortunately, I had the, uh, the opportunity to come and eat at Lafia the other day. It's when we first met, and you gifted me with a jar of your uh, New Bay 33. Yeah, I'm just going to say... Um, that probably lasted maybe a week in my refrigerator. I, I I ate it with everything. It was just delicious. Now, now you've you've kind of you kind of blew up here with doing your thing. You were kind of uh, you kind of went away for a little bit. What what was going on? Uh, well, the the first year we really decided to get going uh, in in a lot of the stores like Jansen's and such. Um, the holidays really just wiped us out, which was a great great thing for us. Um, but we we really weren't expecting that kind of uh, feedback and and the community to embrace us even. So the holidays, um, we sold out all our inventory um, and then had a hard time catching back up, but eventually decided to go, f go full time with this and um, restock and get them back out there in all the stores that we were out there. And, and now, now we can find your pickles and, and your products at Highland Orchards, uh, the Delaware Local Food Exchange, Jansen's Market. Um, down south a little bit, we're at Willie Farms. Um, and Lafia Bistro obviously carries our stuff as well. Um, so yeah, so we're trying to keep it kind of smaller local businesses that, that really kind of highlight other products on our shelves. Now what's in the future for you guys? What's uh, anything on the radar? How are you expanding? Um, well, we plan to keep going, um, maybe pick up another flavor or two. After the holidays, of course, we're kind of bracing ourselves for that again. Um, come next spring, we're going to be opening a barbecue restaurant called Local Barbecue Post. It's going to be right on the outskirts of Little Italy in Wilmington. Um, barbecue and pickles is a natural natural combination so it'll be an umbrella you can go in there get a sandwich or a platter some cool sides still really embracing local farms and sustainability um, the same way the pickle company does and you'll be able to get everything there just in one spot very cool because you know there's there's really no barbecue in in Wilmington proper I mean you know so you guys will be like trend setting and it's it's fantastic you know, on the on kind of uh, nice collaborations, I've seen some pictures on your on your Facebook where you've kind of teamed up with a local distillery out of uh, Smyrna. Yeah, yeah, uh, Painted Stave Distillery. They're down in Smyrna, Delaware. Another bunch of uh, guys that really love being from Delaware. And, and, and you know, we've all heard of you know the the nice kind of St. Patrick's Day tradition of doing picklebacks. Pickle you know, so you get a little shot of uh, whiskey and you take maybe like a half shot of pickle juice. And you just you you just shoot them right. It's it's awesome. Yeah. And uh, what they they kind of recommend taking some of your brines uh, that you make and, and turning them into Bloody Marys or doing picklebacks and things like that. So so how does that make you feel to know that your product is so good that people don't mind just drinking it? Oh, we, I mean we love it obviously that uh, people really like what we're doing and and that they're going out of their way to find other ways just to get every last little little bit of the brine out of the jar and. It's a good feeling. We like it a lot. Very cool, man. Well, you know, thank you so much for taking the time to uh, speak with me. Uh, we're kind of filling up here. But um, so where can people find you online? Uh, online, we have obviously our social media sites, Facebook, uh, Instagram, at Wilmington Pickles. And also our website, WilmingtonPickles.com, has all the info on, on new flavors, stores, and, and anything coming up in the future. Chef, do you mind if I try? Absolutely. Mm. Chef, come on. Those spices, everything about it's just unique, and uh, texturally, it's it's beautiful. It's got a little heat, a little brine, delicious. Chef, killing it. Thank you so much. I'm Brian Wild, DorksandForks.com. Let's go back to Dan Sanchez. Hey, Dan Sanchez from Dorks and Forks. We're here with Della Clark, the president of the Enterprise Center at the Dorrance H. Hamilton Culinary Arts Center. There we go. Uh, I want to thank you so much for spending some time with us today uh, for the Wilmington Renaissance Corporation and sharing your successes uh, from the Enterprise Center. If you had a few words of advice for any young entrepreneur coming up and trying to make this city as good as your city, what would it be? Perfect your product. Okay. so that it has appeal to the customer. 
because people like great food, good food, excellent food. Okay, and if you want repeat customers and you want people to love your food, they want to know something about the chef too. So make sure you make the connection to food and whoever produced it. All right, and then you also shared three things for everybody's success, and I don't want to ruin it for everybody else, so please tell us, what are those three things that we need to succeed? Faith, hope, and charity. Faith, hope, and charity. What more could you ask for? Della, thank you so much again for sharing your successes with us and spending time with us. This is Dan Sanchez from Dorks and Forks coming to you for a Wilmington Renaissance Creative Chat Series. Thank you very much.